What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a two-leg parlay for Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. Here at Pick Downs, we dropped the most free pick videos at anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like, it helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, the picks like the most, the picks that I buy myself personally, go to pickdowns.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description for this video. You'll find all my plays there. Alrighty, guys. Damn. It's one. It's the first day. It is the first day that we have no NBA on. We're, we're about to get to that point, guys, where it's just MLB. It's fine. It's fine. It might, does it make me sad a little bit? Yes, I'm not going to lie. But we're going to have to get used to it for a couple months. We're going to have to get used to it. Um, so let's get right into it, man. I mean, to recap last night, the Pacers. I mean, we were on point with our, our pick with the, the Pacers plus the points. But those boys just can't finish to save their lives. I mean, they, they, should, have, they should be up 3-1 right now against the Boston Celtics. I mean, their finish game is just was horrific. But, I don't know, it'll, it'll be interesting, interesting to see the Celtics in the finals again. Um, you know, they looked garbage when they played Golden State a couple years ago. I think they'll look better. I'm not a big Celtics fan, so I'm not really too excited for it, but it is what it is. We'll definitely have some picks out for it. But let's get right into this Wednesday parlay. Like I said, we got some MLB. And like I said in our last video, we are going to do two leg parlays from now on. It's just a better bet. It is a better bet. We want to give ourselves a chance, guys. I'm not a lottery ticket guy. I never been, never will be. I like to actually win. So let's get right into it. This parlay, you actually will get some decent odds on. Um, so let's do it. First leg, Red Sox Orioles. I'm going to take the under in this game. I love this underplay. Uh, we got Crawford on the mound for Boston with a 2.89 ERA, and Corbin Bird's on the mound for Baltimore with a 2.60 ERA. Both guys with sub three ERAs. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big Corbin Burns fan. Whenever he's pitching, I'm always looking at unders, first five unders, nerfies, all across the board. And then Crawford just keeps doing his damn job. I just recorded my nerfie video, and this was one of my nerfies that I gave out. But um, I, I sent that video, man. He just, I keep expecting him to have some type of regression, but. It's just not happening. <clears throat> we saw on Monday, um, you know, the Orioles really ran up the score. It was 3-11 to at the final of that game. I don't see this game being like that at all. I think these teams come down to earth when it comes to the bats with this pitching matchup. So I'll take my chances with the under eight in that Baltimore Red Sox game. Next, let's head to, head to Milwaukee. I'm going to take the Brewers on the money line. Uh, we got the Cubs and the Brewers. I should have said that first. But, uh, yes, Cubs versus the Brewers. I mean... I, the, the, the Brewers are getting plus money here, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. This Cubs team is garbage right now. Um, they, they can't hit the ball. They can't hit the ball. These teams played on Monday. The score was 1-0. to um, The Cubs are 2-8 and eight in their last 10 games. And, yeah, they have Imanaga on the mound, who's been very solid. Don't get me wrong, but I really think he's due for some regression, guys. He has a 0 0.84 ERA, and he's 5-0 and on the season. He's 5-0. and he's, The man's due for a loss. And he's going against his Milwaukee team with Freddie Peralta on the mound, who is always very solid. This just screams Imanaga's first loss, guys. It just does. Um, you know, if those bats can't hit already, now they have to play a guy like Freddie Peralta. I think this is going to be a, a, a low-scoring, tight game. But I have more faith in the Brewers, especially in the form the Cubs are in right now. Um, way more than the Cubs. So I'll take the Brewers on the money line, getting plus money all day. So that's going to do it, guys. Let's recap this parlay. Leg one, Boston Red Sox versus the Orioles. Give me the under eight. Leg two, the Cubs versus the Brewers. Give me the Brewers on the money line. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my hitting card program up close, you can follow me on Instagram at Brad Bets. Post all my wins and losses there, my pit toss content, other free picks. It all funnels back into there, but most importantly, subscribe to pit toss on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.